Hi, I'm Juan Barquin. I'm here with the Unifrance Critics Lab, and today I'm going to talk about Mia Hansen Love's uh, Un Bon Matin, One Fine Morning, which is part of the Quinzan de Realisateur, which I finally managed to say properly today. <laughs> uh, the film follows Leo Sadu Sandra, who's something of a natural caretaker and listener for her sick father. She's trying to balance every aspect of her life from that to her child, to her job as a translator, to a brand new affair with a former friend and lover. And something that I've always find fascinating about Mia Hansen Love's films is that a lot of people consider them sort of light and almost slight, but there's such a power to the way they navigate these very simple situations with such gravitas in a really beautiful, beautiful way. And something that struck me in this film in particular is just how lived in every single moment feels from uh, just looking at Lea Sadu's Sandra, which is probably the first time I've ever seen her give a performance this natural as she's usually placed into a position of either like high beauty or sort of absurdity, like something with a lobster. And I could not stop watching her and her interactions with her family and all of the characters around her from Pascal Gregory, Nicole Garcia, Melville Poulpard. Um, and they all feel so deeply human and they all have such a chemistry that makes the film sing at all moments. And it's so beautifully fixated on the reality of aging and the fear that comes with sort of facing aging as both the child of someone who is going through something and someone who is sort of terrified of repeating any of the mistakes or having to go through any of the same things or putting her child through those same things. And it's just, I don't know, there's something really lovely about the way that she presents this togetherness while also this conflict within the face of pain that comes into this family's life. And I don't know, I was just, I was so affected by the film in a way that I was very caught off guard by. And I think it's one of the most interesting films I've seen so far at the festival. Mm -hmm.